hi in this video i am going to explain infinite series and convergence and divergence of an infinite series to understand the infinite series it is necessary to understand the meaning of the sequences sequence of a real number is a function from natural number to real number if uh, our sequence is x then we define the sequence x is a function from natural number to real number in general we can say that it is the list of the number x1 comma x2 comma x3 and so on see the definition and see this list of the number the next question arises in mind where is the natural number and where is the real number see this suffix 1 2 3 comes from the natural number and value of x1 value of x2 value of x3 goes in real number this is the meaning of this definition not one important thing in sequence ordering is very important because sequence x1 comma x2 comma x3 is different sequence from x2 comma x1 comma x3 and so on this is all about the definition of the sequence to understand in more detail about the sequence please watch my video related to the sequence if we add all these terms of the sequence that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on then we get the series in general we can define an infinite series is the sum of the terms of the infinite sequence and it is denoted by summation n is running from 1 to infinity xn or summation of xn as this is the terms of the sequence x1 comma x2 comma x3 and so on if we add all this term that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on then we get series xn see examples if we have a sequence xn is equal to 1 by n then we can generate the terms of the sequence by putting n is equal to 1 if we put n is equal to 1 then we get 1 which is the first term of the sequence if we put n is equal to 2 then we get 1 by 2 which is the second term of the sequence if we put n is equal to 3 then we get the third term of the sequence and so on if we add all these terms that is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 then we get series 1 by n this is our series 1 by n see so second example if we have a sequence y n is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to the n then we can generate its term its term by putting n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 and so on if we put n is equal to 1 then we get first term 1 by 2 if we put n is equal to 2 then we get second term 1 by 4 and so on if we add all this term then we get the series 1 by 2 raised to the n which is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on see another example if our sequence zn is equal to n square then its terms are 1 comma 4 comma 9 and so on this term can be generated by putting n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 and so on if we add all this term then we get the series n square that is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 and so on our main aim is to understand the convergence and divergence of the series but to understand the convergence and divergence of the series it is necessary to understand the sequence of partial sum see if our series x x n that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 and so on if it is an infinite series then we can define s1 is equal to x1 that is the first term s2 is equal to sum of first two terms that is x1 plus x2 s3 is equal to sum of first three terms s4 is equal to sum of four first four terms in general sn is equal to sum of first n terms then this sequence s1 comma s2 comma s3 comma s4 comma s5 dash dash, dash is called as the sequence of partial sum of the series if this sequence Sn is convergent then we say that our series is convergent if this sequence is divergent then we say that our series is divergent and say example if uh, our series is uh, n square then its terms are 1 plus 4 plus 9 and so on then we can generate a sequence of partial sum s1 is equal to first term 1 s2 is equal to sum of first two terms that is 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 us 3 is equal to sum of first three terms which is equal to 14 and so on then this creates a sequence 1 comma 5 comma 14 comma 30 comma 55 and so on as n increases this sum becomes larger and larger and becomes unbounded as the sequence is unbounded 
which implies sequence is divergent. That is our sequence SN is divergent, which implies our series N square is also divergent. See another example, if we have a series Yn is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to then, then we can generate the sequence of partial sum. Uh, that is S1 is equal to 0 0.5 which is equal to first term, 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5, S2 is equal to sum of first two terms which is equal to 0 0.75, 7 5. S3 is equal to 0 0.875 and so on. Then this creates the sequence 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.875, 0 0.9375, 0 0.96875, 0 0.98488. As this sequence approaches to 1, if we find the limit of this sequence, then uh, limit is equal to 1, which implies the our sequence Sn is convergent, which implies our series 1 upon 2 raised to the n is also convergent. That is, convergence and divergence of series is depends upon the convergence and divergence of the sequence of partial sum. If sequence of partial sum is convergent, then series is convergent. If sequence of partial sum is divergent, then series is also divergent. If our sequence of partial sum Sn converges to limit L, then we write limit n tending to infinity Sn is equal to L. As series if this sequence of partial sum is convergent then our series xn is also convergent and l is the sum of the series that is limit of sequence of partial sum is sum of our series that is if our series is converges to limit l then we write summation n is running from n1 to infinity xn is equal to n which means sum of series xn is equal to l this is all about the infinite series convergence and divergence of an infinite series thank you if you like this video please like and share it for more such videos subscribe to the youtube channel www.youtube.com slash live mathematica if you have any doubt write in comment box video related to that topic will be uploaded as soon as possible or you can like facebook page live mathematica post your doubt on page i will try to solve it in couple of days thank you